Kufado has sacked the Minister of State at the Finance Ministry, Charles Edubwahim. Earlier, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya said his attention had been drawn to a video by Anas Arumeya Anas as posted on his social media handles showing the Minister of State for Finance, um, Charles Edubwahim, apparently using his name to peddle influence and collect money from su supposed investors. Dr. Bamia said if what the minister is alleged to have said is accurately captured in the video, then his position as a minister of state is untenable. And moments after that um, post by the vice president, we got information confirming the president's decision to sack Charles Edubwahin. Um, um, details of that we're going to be giving you in a jiffy. If you go to our website, 3 where we are also streaming this bulletin, you will get the fine details of what exactly has gone into the president's final decision to sack Charles Edouboahe. But uh, joining me in studio now is uh, my colleague who has been following this particular story, Keenly, Roland Walker. Roland, uh, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. First of all, in the last six hours, I should say, a lot has been happening. So briefly walk us through how the genesis of all of this began. Well, we have to say that um, because this is a very fluid situation, we have to put all that into perspective. And it's good that you asked the question because uh, pr uh, predicating all this is what has happened uh, with the announcement that has been made by Tiger IPI through their agent that they wanted to use the Accra International Conference Center, which has always been the venue that is always used in premiering their latest investigative videos. And then subsequently we were told that the place was not available. And then there was another letter from the ministry indicating that that very information that also was put out and confirmed by Tiger IPI subsequently was not true and that there was a mishap. And so it brought into focus, especially getting a lot of traction on social media, whether government was in a position or was willing for this investigative piece by Taga IPI led by Anas Arimi Anas to be premiered or shown at all. Mm. And then we had the, big, the biggest of the news because just this morning we had on the front page of the Crusading Guide the Deputy Finance Minister who already we do know is at the center of this uh, censure by the minority to be sacked, um, that he apparently um, somehow was deceived by people who had uh, been sent by Tiger IPR to pose as big investors mm. and they had met uh, somewhere in the UAE and subsequently he seemed to have succumbed to some uh, overtures to have an investment undertaken uh, and then also he had also solicited for a percentage or a commission of that investment clearly pointing straight to the office of the, of the Vice President of our Republic, Dr. Uh, Mahmoud Baumia. Mm. And following that, uh, we've had that rebuttal by the Vice President. And coincidentally, following suit is that sack letter also mm. coming from the Presidency. Right, so on your screen now is the letter from, or the post from the office of the Vice President. Uh, and uh, briefly, it goes to say that they have... Uh, their attention has been drawn to reports that the Minister of State uh, for Finance, Charles Edubwahin, apparently had been using his name to peddle influence and collect money from some supposed investors. And um, uh, back to you, Roland, what also draws a lot of people's attention is the fact that in as much as there is already a call for the Finance Minister, Ken Ophirata, to be sacked, the NPP MPs in Parliament asking Ophirata to be sacked also mentioned Charles Edubwahin. Yes. Is there a correlation between that and what we have been told right now. By well, there's no correlation at all. Really, these are two incidents or events. Mm. One is related to how poorly the finance minister and his deputies have managed the finance ministry. And so that call out there from both sides of the house. Okay. And then the other is about an action that was undertaken. And this time, the person of Charles Edouboahin, the deputy minister, who has sought to solicit some sort of funds before investors will see the office of the vice president or the vice president himself to the tune of some 200,000 US mm. dollars. And that is the bigger question. 
So the question right now is, is that his behavior? Has, has, uh, has, has it been ongoing? Have we had uh, pointers where if you want to see the vice president, then you would have to pay money, okay. for which we've had this response from the vice uh, president's office. It, it, it speaks to a bigger picture of whether corruption is, uh, is endemic within mm. the presidency itself. Because you would know that there have been incidents or pointers in which we've had a, a member of parliament saying that his own assigns or those he's had some relationship with who want to undertake business with the presidency mm. have had um, deputy chief of staff soliciting money before they got to see the president or those responsible for whatever uh, activities within the presidency. Right. So this has brought uh, into, sh into sharp focus whether that is a bigger issue that all of us need to deal with. Okay. And again, it just gives traction to the investigative piece that has been undertaken by Taga IPI for everybody to just troop into the Accra International uh, Conference Center to have a, a sneak peek. Because the man in our picture there at the backdrop mm. is at the center stage of all this. Okay. Now, a deputy minister of finance, and we know that we have had a situation where we're dealing with the International Monetary Fund. And we've had his boss alongside him dealing with that fund. Mm. This also means that their credibility, the credibility of our republic, those at the head of the negotiations with the International Monetary Fund will be questioned. Right. And the bigger question then will be whether this could further delay that agreement that we're seeking with the International right. Monetary Fund. All right. Uh, very cogent questions you asked there. Thank you very much, Roland.